Hi there, welcome to Two Devs. My name is Charlie. And I'm Mike. And today is a pretty special day. The weather's really, really nice. I thought we'd come and do this outside. Beautiful. We're Especially, in Victoria Park in Bath. Yep, we started in Pryor Park, uh, walked around the Crescent. Uh, it's a bit windy, to be honest. <laughs> we tried to find somewhere a bit more sheltered, but yeah. we've. Uh, so sorry about if there's any background noise or anything, but uh, this is the quietest spot we can find. But couldn't resist just coming outside, enjoying the weather, and showing you more of a uh, beautiful bar. Some kids getting into a pretty intense football game behind us as well, so apologise about that. We're probably going to go join in in a minute. So. <laughs> anyway, cool. So we've got uh, some quite exciting news actually to tell you about. Uh, I think the first one is the uh, the graduates. Well, I was yeah. going to say students, but they're graduates now. Graduates now, yeah. So we've just finished one of our cohorts. Uh, it finished at the beginning of June. Beginning of June. And the really amazing news is that of the eight students, all eight of them have got a job, which is amazing. Yeah. yeah. And they did even this. better than that. They did it in 14 days, <laughs> yeah. which is a record for us. Yeah. 100% of students got a job within 14 days. That's amazing, isn't I, it? I couldn't believe it. it was, That's yeah, really, cool. really good news. Really I think what was even cooler, if we're going to flog this horse, is, uh, <laughs> is that half of them had jobs before the academy was even over. Yeah, which before is, graduating. Uh, yeah, which is a really cool stat to be able to sort of pedal out as well. Uh, yeah, it just shows definitely. that how in demand people that are going through the academy are. Exactly. For, for development jobs in the and industry. just how many jobs and how in demand software developers are in general yeah, like yeah. across the industry we run our um, yeah. hiring partner evening about three and a half weeks before graduation mm. uh, um, between that event and then when uh, they graduated four out of the eight of them got jobs <laughs> uh, three and a half weeks that's pretty good that yeah, is, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's so amazing, massively yeah. in demand yeah, that's really cool well it's funny you mentioned the hiring uh, uh, sorry the um, taster sessions We've, uh, we've actually just had a, a, a series of taster sessions that have just finished now. So we had three of them uh, in the last few weeks. So if you've attended yep. one of those, thank you so much for coming. It was lovely to meet you. Yeah, we really um, enjoyed it. If you didn't have a chance, no worries. There's uh, a new set of dates that have gone up on the website. They're going to be live. Uh, and uh, Yeah, they're live now in the next, for the next couple of months. Yeah, yeah, so you can come along in November if you're, uh, if you're keen to get some, uh, some experience of what it's like to, uh, to try coding. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you're looking to uh, apply, there's a bit of a deadline coming up, isn't there? There is, yeah. So um, it's tomorrow, actually. <laughs> the application deadline uh, for the August course, at least, uh, is, is tomorrow. Um, so thank you to everyone who's already applied. Uh, we've had some fantastic applications. Yeah, some really good uh, ones. Really love reading through those applications. So um, yeah. if, if anybody is sort of umming and ahhing about it, there's um, absolutely no um, uh, obligation, obligation if, if, if you apply. Um, like, like you say, it's tomorrow. We've got assessment day on Saturday. And this isn't just for the uh, for the next cohort as well. Like if you're thinking about maybe doing it in the future, if you think about it as an alternative to uni, or you want to kind of save some money up before you do it going forward, uh, you can do it at the back end of the next year as well. So uh, yeah, yeah, we well, can book your place now for any any time for the next two years actually. So yeah. you can go on the website and, it, and it's just got um, the tick box where you can select the one that you're interested in, or if you're not sure, you can select lots of them. And, <laughs> uh, get your application in, and we'll uh, we'll put you through the assessment, and we can book your place now for for two years and two years in the future if you want to do that yeah, um, yeah really keen sounds good so we uh, we were out and about uh, last week we uh, had the pleasure of going to the Sparky's Awards on Thursday uh, so Sparky's Awards do you want to give us a bit of a what, what it is yeah sure uh, so the Sparky's Awards are run by Techspark um, and uh, hosted by uh, Techspark and uh, in particular Ben Chorok so thank you very much for that Ben uh, for those of you that don't know uh, Techspark are sort of a, a, a tech advocate in Bath and Bristol um, they help with networking events, they help put people together, they uh, do a lot of tech diversity and innovation stuff. Um, they're, they're, they're really good for the tech scene here in Bath and Bristol, uh, they're really good for, for particularly for, for networking stuff. Um, and one of the things they do in order to do that is the Sparkies, which yep. is an awards event that happens once a year around this time um, that includes the whole, all of Bath and Bristol, all of the tech companies in Bath and Bristol, um, and we all kind of get together and vote on all sorts of different awards, um, and just, just generally who's doing really well in specific categories over the last year. Yeah, yeah. So it's been uh, it was it was a really exciting one for us, particularly uh, because there's uh, one of the categories was the best mentor award, and uh, and really excitingly, uh, Mike was nominated and it made it to the final shortlist. Uh, so we went down there, uh, and it was kind of uh, off to you to put, slap a shirt on and. Uh, it was. We don't do that very often. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have shirts, I promise. Uh, Yours out. was fantastic. Thanks very much. I'll try. 
Uh, but yeah, going out, meeting some of the people uh, in the industry and uh, having a drink and just kind of having a bit of food as well. That was really yeah. amazing food. It was a really nice event in Motion yeah. in Bristol. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was really, really good. But even more exciting than that was uh, totally unexpected. Yeah, no, just kidding. Uh, was, oh, that, was, <laughs> was that Mike won as well, which is really cool. So we have some pretty strong competition for the yeah. Best Mentor Awards. Yeah, there were some fantastic nominations. Yeah. I did, did not expect it at all. Which um, is really good. So really well done to everybody that was nominated for it because I think everybody deserved to win it. Um, and just, you know, thank you to everyone who voted and, and, and to the judges because I really didn't expect it. But yeah, um, yeah re really, really pleased. It's really good to see that. And it's a really nice vote of confidence, I think, for, for the Academy as well because of uh, a lot of the mentoring that you do is, is through the academy so it was uh, I think it was a it was a really really fun evening and it was uh, fantastic and well deserved as well which is, which is really you. cool yeah, but yeah great. so that was an exciting night uh, so we all drank too much after that and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and had to get taxis home but yeah so uh, that was our exciting week that's the yeah. exciting news that's coming up that's come up as well we've got taste sessions in the future applications yep. tomorrow yeah uh, I think we've probably covered everything haven't yeah we? I think that's about it for now nice yep. that's cool well thanks very much and yeah, we'll catch thank up you. next time bye bye